And if you look at the world, then it's incredibly complex and beautiful. It's very difficult to imagine how this could have been assembled out of the raw materials that were available at the Big Bang, because we know that when the universe began, or three minutes after it began, there are only two things in the universe, just two ingredients. It was made of clouds of hydrogen and helium. Now over time, those clouds collapsed under gravity to form stars. And it's in stars that the heavier elements, the carbon and oxygen, nitrogen, iron, phosphorus, neon, sulfur, everything you see in the world today was made. So that's where it came from. But when they were assembled, they were locked away inside the hearts of stars. So how did they get out to form planets like this? Well, they emerge when stars die at the end of their lives, because when stars run out of fuel, they explode and they sprinkle those heavier elements out into the universe again, and then they can recollapse under gravity into new generations of planets and stars like this one. But the most interesting story for me is the origin of the heaviest elements, the rarest elements like gold and silver and platinum, because we know that the conditions in the hearts of stars are not usually hot enough to assemble those heaviest elements. So where do they come from? Well, they're made in the most violent explosions in the universe, supernova explosions, the deaths of the most massive stars in the cosmos, because it's only in those explosions that the conditions are hot enough and the pressures are high enough to build things like gold. Now, the reason gold is so rare and so valuable here on Earth is because those conditions only exist on average for less than one minute per galaxy per century.